I'm doing another um, summer look for you guys today and this one's really just kind of like very simple and I think it's just a look that like everybody can basically do. I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about it and it's just that kind of look where you do like a very like neutral eye and then you do a bright popping like bright lip um, and I really like doing this a lot. I think it's a lot of fun. I just spent the week in Hawaii and every time that I would wear makeup I would do like a really light like neutral eye with not like a lot of like dark colors or anything like that and then I put on a bright lipstick just so I could kind of brighten up my face a little bit so it wasn't so like just um kind of like washed out or anything like that um so the tutorial is really basic just I did this just basic neutral matte brown eyes and then I did these very pinky lippies and um I just I wanted to show you a few of my favorite um, bright lipsticks that I have for summer and um, just talk to you a little bit about that before I get to the tutorial so I'll talk about that first. So the first lipstick that I'm going to be talking about is the one that I'm wearing in this makeup look and this is from Revlon and this is from their super lust lustrous mix lipsticks and this is a matte formula and it's called Stormy Pink. So it just looks like this. It's just a really pretty vibrant pink. It's um, a bit of a blue pink, I think. Um, and it does look very intimidating when you just look at the color like straight up. But it's actually really nice when you put it on your lips. So I'll just swatch for you guys. So it's a really cool just kind of blue pink. Really pretty. And um, fairly easy to wear as long as you're doing a neutral look. And then over the top of that I use this lip gloss from Buxom. And um, as many of you know, like the Buxom lip glosses are really great for plumping and for shine. And so this one is called Danny. So it's like a kind of berry pinky color. So it looks really great over the pink lip gloss because it mutes it out just a teensy bit and adds a lot of shine and plumping. So I can do a quick little swatch. It's not super pigmented on its own, but it's a really nice gloss and it's one of my newest ones. So you can see it right there. It has like a nice berry tint to it. So it just adds a lot more um, dimension and like color to pink lips. Like if you're just doing like a plain matte pink lip, it'll add like a, like a lot of shine and like more dimension to the look. The next lipstick is one that I showed in a haul recently. And this is from Victoria's Secret and this is called Be Mine. And so it's just kind of like a red pink lipstick and I've never had a shade like this before like I mentioned in my haul. But I really like how it looks on my lips and it's just really fun and as long as you're doing a very neutral look it will basically go with anything. It would probably even go with like some bright colored makeup so like if you did like a purple eye it would probably be really nice too. So as you can see it's just like a really red lipstick and um... I don't go for red lipsticks like at all. I always just like think that they're a little overpowering for me. So this is a great alternative if you want to try something that's like a little bit closer to red, but you still want to stay in the pinks because you're a little nervous about trying red. So I really like this lipstick. The next one is from CoverGirl, and this one is called Temptress Number no. 400, and um, it is absolutely like such a beautiful color, and it's matte. And it's very close to the Be Mine lipstick when I looked at the colors together. This is just a little bit more pink. And it's so comfortable to wear. And, like, all the CoverGirl lipsticks have a really nice, like, texture to them. And, like, a really nice, like, dewiness. So they're easy to wear. So this is what it looks like. So you can see, like, the shades are really similar. This is just a little bit more pinky than Be Mine is. But the shade is still really awesome and um, really exp inexpensive. So it's a great, like just a fun lipstick and really like the color that you see on the outside with all the color cover your lipstick is pretty much the color that you get every time so this is a really fun color and then the last color is this one from Revlon and um, this one is from the color burst lipsticks and this is candy pink so it really is just like a bright candy pink and um, it has like a really cool shaped bullet too. Like it's really different than anyone I've seen. And um, it doesn't have as much pigment as the other ones, which is actually kind of nice. So it's just this one at the top and it comes out very sheer onto the skin, which is actually really great because this means this is like the most wearable of these um, 
pink lipsticks that I've showed just because you can kind of layer how much of that color that you really want to have. So if you want to do like kind of a sheer pink, it will look really great. But if you want to like layer it on and layer it on to make a more vibrant pink, it still works really well. And this is a really great lipstick. I have two from this line of the Revlon lipsticks and they're really nice quality. You probably noticed these are all pink lipsticks and this is just because I really like pink and I think that a really bright vibrant pink for summer is a lot of fun to do because you want like you take a lot of the focus off of your face you can just do some simple bronzer like nothing on your eyes like just a little bit of eyeliner mascara and then just pop your lips and it looks so awesome and just like it makes your lips look like you just have like a like um like a popsicle or something like that but it's a lot of fun and I really like this look so um yeah, it's just a really simple look, and I really hope you guys like it, and I'll just get to the tutorial now, so I'll talk to you all soon. Bye! First, you're going to want to prime your lids with an eyeshadow primer just to make sure that the color stays vibrant and holds all day. Starting with a matte cocoa brown for all over the lid and just using a big fluffy brush, I'm just going to kind of pat the color all over my lid about up to the crease line and you don't really need to kind of smooth it out or anything. brush I'm going to take a lighter nude color and this is also matte and I'm going to use this into the crease to smooth out that darker brown and make it have a more smoky but natural effect. and take that dark cocoa and bring it about a third into my lower lash line. Using a black waterproof eyeliner, I'm going to quickly tight line my eyes so that my lashes will appear a lot fuller. Since we're not adding too much drama with the eyeshadow, I want to make sure that my lashes look full. Then I'm going to take a soft white coal liner and use this onto my waterline, just to make my eyes appear a little bit larger. I'm going to use a black liquid eye pen and just line this in a thin line across my eyelid. Feel free to add a flick to the look as well, just to add a little bit more drama to the eye. Once you've finished that, take a smudge brush and just go in and smudge the eyeliner out, avoiding the flick, but this is just going to soften up the looks up here like we've added just like a shadow over it to make it more smoky. Using a large shimmery eye pencil, I'm just going to add this into the inner corners of my eyes to act as an extra highlight and dimension. it's time to move on to your mascara. I'm using a volumizing and a lengthening mascara and I'm just going to wiggle this right into my lashes and pull them upwards. Since we're doing a very neutral look on the eyes, you want to go big with the lashes and make them very bold.
Don't forget to do some mascara on the lower lash line as well. Now I'm going to take a nice tan shimmery bronzer and I'm going to add this all over my face with a big fluffy brush. Mostly just focusing on any areas of your face that you want to add extra dimension. Focusing on the areas that get the most sunlight when you're outside in the sun in the summertime. Now using a pearly pink cream highlighter, you can just dot a little bit onto your finger because you don't need too much of the product. And you're just going to want to dot this onto your upper cheekbones to add some extra highlight to your skin. This is also going to add some extra dimension to your face. Make sure to go back and really add all that color that you want and make sure to smooth it in a lot. Using a lip liner that matches your natural lip color, go ahead and just line your lips. And this is just going to help the lipstick to really hold and figure out where that line is so you can finish lining. The lipstick that I'm using is a matte formula and it's kind of blue toned pink color. And you just want to put this all over the lips in an even coat. To top it off, I'm going to be using a berry colored plumping lip gloss and just put this all over, mostly focusing and trying to get the most gloss onto the centers of your lips, which is really going to plump them out. And so now we're all done with the look. This look is very easy to do and very wearable for the summertime. You can use any shade of bright lipstick of your choosing, although I think pink is the most fun for summertime. I hope you enjoyed the look guys, and I'll see you next time.